Hey guys, welcome to another um, uh, episode in our series and for today I'm just going to show you some of the things I like to do to a brand new laptop just after getting it or you, if you have a laptop that you have had for a while you can actually use these tips so often clients will bring laptops to me to fix or to just to clean up so when they just get it fresh out of the package I'll get it and they ask me just to put on essential software so i'm just going to introduce you some of my essential software and what are the first things i do when i'm dealing with a new laptop the first thing i do is you can check out my freeware folder here this is a touch screen laptop by the way so i can actually touch this all right so first of all i go with a trusted antivirus um in my case i use avg free edition so most of these will come with trials of um of antiviruses such as uh, McAfee I don't like that one so I'll uninstall it alright um, for you you can actually use any antivirus that you like or like to use alright so normally those are um, like 30 day trials or so on if you do get a key it would be a good idea to keep whatever antivirus you got unless you just prefer another type right so as I said AVG is the free edition works quite well for viruses next I install CC cleaner and the CC cleaner is a scrap cleaner and um, let me just show you this quickly now crap cleaner right over here is a must have it actually helps to um, speed up your PC now if you look over here you'll notice that it's basically as a cleaning feature and I have a video on this I'll link it on screen and basically what it does is it scan for crap files now I recommend that you only use this last after you do everything else that I'm going to show you here but let me just show you what you do so the first thing you do is going to hit analyze it's going to scan the PC for junk files or temporary files that you don't actually need and of course you can run the cleaner and hit OK now the cool thing about this, I'd advise you run this at least once per month and it will keep your PC running smoothly by deleting these old files sometimes to leave it, um, if you haven't cleaned it in a while you can de um, delete up to a few gigs of data and you realize your PC start running faster right? and of course if there's any programs open to ask you to close them and so on so it will clean off the crap another thing that I like to do in here is to clean the registry by cleaning the registry of Windows you remove errors and it keeps Windows, Windows running smoothly as in the case of Windows 10 here so as you can see here it will scan for any broken old and um, deleted files or stuff in the Windows registry that you don't need once it finds them and it, after a scan you just hit fix and it will ask you do you want to back up um, I'd advise to back up but in my case I know I don't have anything to back up because I did one recently so I'm going to hit no and I'm going to fix all issues right and as soon as it fix all issues you can go ahead and close right this is so cool another thing that you can actually do with this is go into tools and go into uninstall give it a while to populate and you can search through here and remove anything that's unnecessary for example this Amazon um, add-on or whatever it is you can actually uninstall it because you can just go straight through the browser to Amazon you don't need an extra app for that you can also delete anything related to um, file browsers and so on also you'll notice that they like to give you trials of office if you have your legitimate copy of office you can actually install that if not I suggest that you get open office it's a free software that's similar to office it has all the, the Excel and all those features word and so on so if the trial version is on it and it has expired, you can always go ahead and just um, remove it as in the case of um, this year. Because it will only give you for 30 days unless you have a key for another version of um, Office, right? And um, just be careful what you uninstall too. As long as you see it's something that is non-essential, you can actually remove it. A lot of these things are bloatware such as the most of these HP related stuff. The core ones that you want to leave is the drivers and so on. You don't want to trust, um, trouble anything like the Microsoft C++ and other critical stuff. Um, if you don't use Netflix, you can uh, uninstall it and so on. So the trick is just to go through and remove anything that you don't need. If you're not sure, you can actually Google it and see what um, each of these features are before you um, remove them. All right? So once you do that, um, remove all the junk and bloatware you're going to realize that with this tool your PC is going to run faster another tip that I'll actually uh, recommend too is that you install a, um, two good um, video players now the tool that I use is VLC and this one is great for um, let's continue this one is great for actually playing almost any video file trust me if you can't if this if you have video and it cannot play back in this player um, it's no good you can just throw it away because trust me it plays everything that's one and the other one I like to use is this one here that is called um, 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 K-Lite 
um, KLI player, right? And KLI player is another one that I like to use as well. It will play most of your videos. So between these two players, you should play 99% um, of all videos that exist on the internet. So there's nothing you won't play. There's some very advanced features that you can actually use. All right, guys. So I'll put a link to all of these softwares. You can actually download them by going on the website, read the full um, article for this. And you actually can start using these tools or test them out for yourself. Alright guys, this has been a quick tip showing you what I do right after getting a new laptop where I remove all the bloatware and all the crap that's on it. I also um, install these key pieces of software including um, a word processor like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. Alright guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you don't of course you can always give it a thumbs down. Um, also remember to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and like this video if you actually like it. Alright guys, Ricardo from Block Tech Tips saying goodbye until I see you again. Bye guys.